ideas for cooking. We're going to be making a fabulous meal. I have some wild caught salmon. I got it at the store today. It was on sale. Perfect. Wild caught is always better. We're also going to be making, it's going to be on a bed of wild rice with some fresh roasted asparagus with a parmesan crumble. It's going to be really good. I look forward to it. First step to tonight's meal, we're going to start on the rice because that's going to take the longest. Um, we're going to take about, you want to get about a medium sized saucepan and about three cups of water. One more. You want to go ahead and you want to crank that up to high. You want to get that water going. Okay, and then um, we're going to go ahead and dump that in and get that going. And we're just going to give that a little quick stir. Just kind of get that all even in the rice. Now, with all, all right, moving on. What we're going to do next step, the asparagus is going to take a little bit longer than the fish, so we're going to do the fish absolutely last. We're going to take a pan. I like to cover my tin, my pans, um, but you can get a baking sheet. You know, it doesn't matter the size, depending on how many people you're feeding. Um, we're going to take a pan. I like to cover it in tin foil. It kind of helps cooking, and it really saves you time on cleanup as well. Yeah. All righty. We are going to clear off the space. And when cooking fresh asparagus, you want to trim off the end just about maybe a half an inch up and you just want to cut it off. Some people use scissors. It just makes it a little bit more tender. I've already prepped all these, so we're good. Save a little bit of time. You just want to evenly lay it out on the sheet as even as possible. If some of them kind of overlap, that's okay. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of olive oil. You don't want to get too crazy with this step because then you'll have an oily mesh. You want to just put enough just to crisp them up a little bit, a little brown and tender. So we're just going to lightly kind of drizzle, you know, just kind of get it all over. But you want to be very easy with it. This is, it's, it's very easy to dump a whole bottle of olive oil when you're doing this step. So like I said, be very careful. Also next we're just going to go ahead and season it. Just very simple, just a little bit of sea salt and pepper is what I like to do. Of course, you can always add more depending on what you like and your taste. So we're just going to season that up real good. By the way, I have already preheated my oven to 400 degrees. So you want to go ahead and do that. And I like to do that. Just preheat the oven pretty much as a general rule just before you even start cooking. So that was first. So we're just seasoning away. And we're going to go ahead after we season this pretty well. We're going to go ahead and pop these in the oven. The Parmesan will come later. You don't want to put that on at first because it will burn. So we're going to go ahead and stick that in here. And we're going to close it up. And now we'll start working on our fish. All right, I have portioned our salmon. This was coho salmon. And I've portioned it in two portions. And, you know, that pretty much depends on how many people you're feeding, what kind of, you know, portions your family likes to eat. That's pretty much generally up to you. This is, I like to do a pretty big portion my family likes to eat. All right, so now we're going to start prepping. And first we're going to start, um, I like to put a little bit of olive oil, just a tiny bit. And you can kind of put your finger over. My fingers aren't really kind of big enough, but just a little bit, just drizzle a little bit. I like to use a lot of olive oil in cooking. It's also good for you and a little bit of healthy alternative, even though I am about to put butter on this, so scratch the healthy part. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to go ahead and season. This is just general. This is just your um, peppercorn gr grinder medley. So we are going to... And also, it's very important with this step that you want to cover the entire fish. You want to get a really good crust going with your seasoning. Secondly, I'm just going to use some sea salt again like I used on the asparagus. And, you know, just go on. And, and once again, this depends on taste. If you're trying to cut back in the salt, obviously, you would kind of go easy. I'm going to use a little bit of Crazy Jane's mixed up season salt. Um, this seasoning salt. So we're going to go ahead and just season this up. And then another favorite thing I like to use, especially when I'm cooking salmon, is dill weed. That just adds a really nice flavor, really nice balance. And you don't want to get too overzealous with the dill weed because it will overpower everything else. But you can give it a, you know, a generous amount. Okay, next step, what we are going to do, I've portioned out mm, about a half a tablespoon of butter. I like to use two just to make sure you're covering the fish. 
and you just want to put that over and that will melt in so all that you know buttery goodness will kind of seep down into the fish next what we're going to do i just have a you know lemon over here we're going to cut just two very thin slices and my cutting skills are rusty so please excuse me and we're just going to lightly lay this over the fish it's also pretty and it'll also Salmon, you don't want to make too lemony, so we just it's just going to give it a hint of lemon. Okay. Now that our rice water has started to boil, what we want to do is just give that a quick stir. And if the camera wants to come take a peek, you can kind of see. Don't freak out if the water has a little bit of color to it. That's just typically wild rice. It's just, you know, all of the good stuff coming off. So we're just going to put that lid back on, and we're going to cut it down to low to medium heat. And then we're just not going to touch it. We're going to leave it right there. All right, now we're gonna just peek and check on our asparagus. It's been a few minutes. Um, typically, you just kinda wanna watch it. I would say, no. it's gonna take a little while. I'd say no longer than 30 minutes, but you wanna wait a little bit because the salmon's only gonna take about 10 to 15 depending on the thickness. So let's take a look. And, um, you know, we're doing good. You can see it's kinda getting a nice bright green color. That's great, but we're not quite there yet. Um, we're gonna go ahead and um, we are going to pull this out. Beautiful, we're not, we're gonna take, remember like I said, waiting till we got it a little bit tender, we're gonna take our fresh grated Parmesan cheese, which is totally yum. And you just wanna, you know, generously just sprinkle it on. We like a bunch of cheese, some people not so much. Once again, completely up to you. We just want to drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Okay. Maybe just a little bit more for good measure. All right. And we're going to just pop our Parmesan on. We're going to go ahead and just put that back in the oven. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and put our fish in as well. Um, what we want to do is put that on the top rack keep that away from the heat so it's cooked slowly and we give the parm the um the asparagus the majority of the heat so we're going to close that back up and we are going to go ahead and set our timer for 20 minutes and this is going to be for the rice because i forgot to do it so <laughs> about 10 minutes has gone by so we're just going to let that cook you don't want to touch the rice and we are going to let the salmon cook for about 10 minutes and then we'll check back on it. We got our fish um, and our asparagus cooking in the oven and then we got our rice simmer on the stove. I was just going to give you a little background story about me and who I am and then just what you can expect from K is for cooking in the future. Um, I'm just your every, every, average everyday housewife. I'm a wife and a mother of two. This is my son Noah. Can you say hi Noah? <laughs> He'll be two in October. I also have a daughter. She's napping right now. She'll be seven months. She'll be eight months, excuse me, on the 16th. Um, she's had a few issues since birth. Um, she's had some feeding issues. She was born at a healthy weight. However, her weight has declined, and she eventually became G-tube dependent. She's our little super tubey. Um, and also, I'm going to incorporate feeding tube awareness into this channel. I'm going to take... Um, you can pan down to them for a minute. <laughs> and, you know, I'm just going to kind of take this channel and, you know, use it as an opportunity to share some kind of recipes that I love to cook for my family. Hopefully you'll love to cook for yours. And also just create awareness for tubies. Um, and just, you know, also as far as recipes go, make some blended diet stuff, purees, baby food, that kind of thing, where you could put it through your child's tube if you chose to do so. So I hope you enjoy my channel. This meal that we're cooking is going to be fabulous. And um, comment and just let me know what you think and enjoy. Thanks. About 12, 12 to 13 minutes has gone by. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull out our salmon. We don't want that to get overcooked. It's got a nice, and you can feel it. It doesn't need to be too firm, but just a little bit of give to it. And that kind of tells you that it's done. Also, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull out our asparagus which also looks pretty yummy if I do say so myself. That Parmesan looks great and you've got that little brown crust under it. We're gonna go ahead and set that aside. And do be careful, these pans are going to be hot. All right, 
Now, um, our rice has got a little bit more time left, so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to peek at it. Typically, you don't take the, rest, the, the lid off of rice. However, with wild rice, you can kind of play around. Um, we just want to give it a little bit of stir. And it's still got a little ways to go. So we are going to pop that lid back on. Now that our rice is all finished cooking, if you want to come take a look, it's all, all the water has absorbed. It's cooked a little while and it's puffed up a lot. Um, this rice took a little bit longer than anticipated. The wild rice usually does. It ended up cooking for more than more than 30. Like I had said earlier, it was more about 45, 50 minutes. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start plating. So we've gotten everything on the plate. we got a nice little bed of our wild rice topped with our salmon and then we have our um, asparagus on the side. And if you're ever entertaining or if you have friends over and you kind of just want to dress up your plate a little bit, it's very simple. I just have this very simple lemon garnish, which is very easy to do. And what you want to do is you just want to take a very thin piece of lemon that I just cut and cut it about three quarters of the way. And then you're just going to twist it on top. And it's ready to go. got everything plated up. It looks great. Um, Harper's hooked up to her feed, so we're going to go eat. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed watching. You know, look for future videos on K is for Cooking. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed it.